introduction in the introduction we are going to study what exactly a fuel is and what is meant by combustion over here we'll see the definition of fuels and combustion fuel is a combustible substance now what do we mean by combustible substance any substance which can easily catch fire is known as combustible substance and that is the reason why whenever we shop for many things over there on the packaging they have written a warning stating it's a combustible substance for example are deodorants and sprays so if we have deodorants and sprays and we are using deodorants and sprays on it it will be written that it's a inflammable substance also known as a combustible substance so both combustible and inflammable mean the same containing carbon as the main constituent most of the fuels that we use today contain carbon as the major constituent let's take some examples to run our vehicles like cars buses trucks etc we use petrol what is petrol it contains carbons and hydrogen that means it is a hydrocarbon a substance containing carbons and hydrogen is known as hydrocarbon another example is diesel cng compressed natural gas so petrol diesel cng all of these are main constituents containing carbon and hydrogen which is nothing but hydrocarbon which on proper burning gives us large amount of heat now why over here have they written proper burning proper burning means good amount of oxygen should be provided all these hydrocarbons need oxygen to burn because oxygen actually helps in the combustion reaction what is combustion reaction the reaction which takes place getting out a lot of heat and light is known as combustion reaction or in short a reaction which leads to fire is known as combustion reaction which can be used economically for domestic and industrial purposes if you see now today fuels have become so dominant in natural life that means in common man's life as well as in an industrial life we use fuels to make coal that means we use one fuel to make another fuel because coal itself is a fuel we use fuel to create electricity we use fuels to create so many different industrial components these fuels are also used in our own kitchens in the form of lpg liquid petroleum gas that means fuels are used both in industrial as well as domestic life some examples of fuel are given to us those are wood wood is a major fuel before any other fuel we used to use wood in the stone age era to create fire to get heat to get light charcoal and coal now coal and charcoal are two different substances though they look the same though they belong to the same family of fuels they actually differ in the carbon component of it and that is the reason why charcoal and coal are different so wood charcoal coal all of these are nothing but my solid fuels wood is solid in nature charcoal is solid in nature coal is solid in nature apart from that you have kerosene petrol diesel we all have seen kerosene kerosene is liquid it has a very particular smell which is of a kerosene similarly we have petrol and diesel whenever we go to the petrol pumps to fill in petrol in our cars we know that petrol and diesel both of them are liquid in nature finally we have producer gas oil gas now these are nothing but gases which are compressed and they are used for example cng compressed natural gas for example lpg liquefied petroleum gas so all these gases are also being used during the process of combustion carbon hydrogen etc combine with oxygen with the liberation of heat now this is a very important point combustion is nothing but a chemical process and for a chemical process to happen you need oxygen for this particular chemical process of combustion oxygen is very necessary why because the hydrocarbon which is there in the diesel the hydrocarbon which is there in the petrol 
the hydrocarbon which is present in the all the different kinds of fuels need oxygen to burn so this oxygen combines with hydrogen this oxygen combines with carbon and thus liberates heat the combustion reaction can be explained as follows over here we have c plus o forming co carbon plus oxygen forming carbon more oxide plus 94 k cals k cals is nothing but kilo calories that means when one atom of carbon is combining with one atom of oxygen it is forming one molecule of carbon monoxide and liberating out 94 kilo calories another example over here i have is two hydrogens with one oxygen forming two ho which is nothing but h2o which is water and plus 68.5 kilo calories that much amount of kilo calories are liberated the calorific value of a fuel depends mainly on the amount of carbon and hydrogen so if i have a lot of carbon and a lot of hydrogen that means my fuel is good that means my fuel will give a lot of energy a lot of kilocalories and will be good in combustion thank you